Alrighty, I have a construction update for you today on Moosehorn Falls, which is a new white water um, water slide coming to Canada's Wonderland in 2024. Um, I also have a, a construction update on the mountain area for whatever Wonderland's going to decide to do with that. And then I can talk about a little bit of Wild Beast. Um, but for those of you that don't know, Wonderland has announced an all-new massive water slide uh, with a vertical wall that will be going in Splashworks. And it looks like they started digging ground exactly on announcement day. It's very early, honestly, for Wonderland to start that, but maybe they've been falling up behind on their other construction projects um, in, you know, like Snoopy's Racing Railway and Tundra Twister, so they want to get ahead of things now. Um, but yes, it will be located, by the looks of it, on that giant grass hill next to the cabanas and the wave pool in Splashworks. Um, work has started on the water main, um, and there's a pump house building there that I, I don't know if it, they've been gutting it or uh, removing the things in it, but work has definitely started here. For those that might be asking, I do have permission to film in Splashworks as long as I have no guests in Splashworks in the shot. So these shots are approved. Um, but as you can see, Wonderland is removing um, the water system, electrical system, sprinkler systems, and all that on this grass hill. Um, and digging up some of the stuff that was there. So it definitely looks like in-house work that has occurred here. And nothing um, like a company's come in and done anything. It might even be as little as soil samples, uh, to be honest. So uh, nonetheless, just a little bit of work going on here in terms of the uh, water slide. But over in the mountain area, there is definitely some exciting points of interest marked. And distance markings on Wonder Mountain's Guardian. Now I want to talk about that because... That is interesting. Uh, they are distance marking Wonder Mountain's Guardian, which has me believe, which has me thinking they might actually keep it. And they have no interest in removing Wonder Mountain's Guardian. So we'll definitely be keeping an eye on that because marking the distance of the support columns uh, for Wonder Mountain's Guardian does kind of say that they have an interest in keeping it because it's a it's a point of interest in the surveyed um kind of like cad file that they've created to send off to the companies um to create their little coaster in for wonderland um this little pathway that goes into the mountain underneath has a point of interest marked as well so very interesting that looks like that they might actually use that as they launch the straight away launch into the mountain um, and again here are some of the survey markings so definitely um, a lot of interesting points of interest being marked in this area that wonderland has um, surveyed their guests as a opportunity to put a roller coaster more uh, like a wing coaster so that's interesting um, over at wild beast the brake run is now all marked up in red spray paint um, they have an orange point of interest marking and the uh, turnaround the fan curve um, and the drop also has points of interest marked on it as well. So very interesting stuff going on over at Wild Beast. And that is why I am holding on to the fact that it might actually be a Gravity Group renovation for 2024. Anyways, that's your construction update for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye.